Welcome to Art B1 Art Appreciation, Summer of 2021. I'm Penelope Young. So we're at Bakersfield College, and this is our homepage. This is where we are, and I'm going to walk you through some of the things of this course. Uh, most people are pretty familiar with online teaching. I've been teaching this class for seven years now, three times a year, multiple classes. Um, but you know, I think in the last year, because of the COVID lockdown, more of us have done online. But just to make sure, if you're a new person doing online, or if you, um, you know, are rusty, that kind of thing. Also, I, I'm I'm very particular about certain types of communication, things like that. And you want to think about what my due dates are and all that stuff. Okay, so right here we're at the front of the course. Um, you may not be, you can't see this, and see anything that has a eye with a slash through it, you can't see either. So we're in instructor view right now. There's some flashcards down here, by the way. We have six modules, we have six weeks. There's an extra credit here. Um, that's due the week before um, the last day of class. I really want you to keep a consistent uh, submissions. You know, keep going every week. Make sure you're on due dates. I don't take late work. You should know that right away. Um, there are a couple exceptions, and I'll go over those probably in the second video. Um, but the main thing is you want to think about being here several hours a week online and then reading the book. You really have to read the book very thoroughly. So there's six weeks here. That's our layout of our course. The home page of this course is here, home, and modules. Those three things are the same. And if you look at our uh, announcement here down uh, toward the bottom, that you should have this by the time you're, you're watching this video. Some of you might have logged in early. Um, usually classes start on Saturdays. For re some reason this semester, this term, we're starting on Monday uh, early. Okay, so down here there's a link to the course, so you should be able to get in there. This is explaining to you what is due this first week, so you have a bunch of stuff due on the 17th, and I'm going to show you where that is here. If you go here, this is going to give you the one week assignment breakdown and points. So you scroll down just a little bit, and you'll get a box of what is graded. So you have 90 weeks in the, or sorry, 90 points in the first week. And you have some quizzes here one, two, three, four, five quizzes. You have a discussion uh, introducing yourself. It, this one's more about art, and then there's a Flipgrid video recording of yourself. You're going to video yourself, and I will have one as well. Um, and it, I think it really helps to orient yourself toward the class and that we're all real people. Online can be a little bit, um, you know, distancing. We're not really sure what's going on and that everybody's real who we're talking to and that kind of thing. So I think it's helpful in that way. All right. So I'm going to go through all all these this list here as best I can. We did home. I'm going to go to syllabus. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this is going to give you information about me right here, phone number. That's my cell phone, you know, but really, if you're going to text me at any point, the same rules apply of netiquette, which I'll go over, but um, you need to be polite, and it needs to be within this time bracket, okay? There's no late, uh, you know, uh, texts or emails to me that you're going to expect to get replies from. So I turn my phone off in the afternoons. Um, I teach five classes, so I have other places that I have to be. So if you're logged on for the first time at the due date, uh, that's probably not going to be a great uh, day for you to get some information. You need to have looked at things earlier. We have a Zoom meeting. These are not required. They're recorded Mondays at 12:30. So if you don't, if you if you have a work conflict with that the entire uh, six weeks, that's absolutely fine. We have recordings, and those are over here. Okay, and I'll show you those in a moment. So. Um, you you want to think about attending those or watching those either way you really really absolutely should watch them I can't say they're exactly required but I would highly suggest you look at them alright our book is here and there's a gateways link in the course also which I'll get back to but you have a choice you can do the ebook um, or you can get a, a hard copy and then you can also um, you have to click on this and sign in I'm already signed in because I already have it so you're gonna to have to go to no I need to register over here I'm not gonna click that but you that's what you're gonna to want to do okay so it's gonna go over some all the materials that you need you are gonna need some glue and colored construction paper didn't quite say that for the Matisse cutouts please look at these two collages uh, before you start them the cutouts is a different collage now Las Meninas can be a slightly different material 
but you want to think about um, getting those materials together. They should be things that you already have. It should be pretty simple. There's two art projects. So you have access to the class 24 hours of the day, whatever work schedule works for you. But in terms of me responding, that's a smaller window of time, okay? So you make sure that you are uh, in the course multiple times, and that's something I can check, and that you are uh, submitting the work on time. If you're gone for five days or you miss a, sub a week of submission, uh, you'll probably be dropped. I, I email and I remind once or twice, but that's it. Um, there's just, you know, you don't want to get a, an F on your um, transcript. You'd rather have a W, so that's why I do that. Okay, so document imaging and formatting is just really important. Uh, a lot of students do not look at this, and they also don't watch this, and then they uh, upload an HEIC file, which I think is an Android image, because you're going to have to take photos of your artwork, for one. There's some other uploads you're going to do, too. Um, you don't want to use your phone for this class. I can't say that enough. Don't use your phone. Don't use your phone. Okay? Because for one thing, the multiple choice doesn't line up correctly for Canvas. And then also some files don't upload properly. And the submit button isn't really available. And you think you submitted it and you didn't. And then you get a zero. Okay? So really look through this. And there's a lot of support. Um, if you are in the dark, if you don't understand certain things, um, there's a lot of support from BC, but it isn't going to come from me, okay? So that's the hard thing. I, I'm just trying to get the, the difficult things out of the way, uh, that I don't take late work. I'm a little bit of a hard grader, or some, you know, depends on the student. I'm not an easy grader. I do I do expect you guys to actually work and, and intend to take this course and learn something. Um, if you're just kind of wanting to put the book next to your head and hope it'll absorb that way, um, you know, you're going to have a hard time getting a good grade. So there's a couple of exceptions for the late work, like I said. One is um, some documentation of a pertinent excuse. Um, some students have had babies during my course, you know, or, or you know, been housebound um, for other reasons. So there are certain things. I've had some incarcerated students, different things like that. I have a student right now in a halfway house in another class in another school, and he doesn't always have internet access, so he's, he's doing the work early which is what I would suggest if you think you're going to be missing a day. But, you know, you can only do what you can do. But it has to be something documentable. It can't just be something you're telling me someone in your family has died. So I don't want a death certificate, but I want, like, a um, notice in the paper, that kind of thing. Okay, so one-time extension, you'll get a, a chance without an emergency to redo four assignments. And there are more than that per week, most weeks. I would think, um, but you can do that for four assignments. Um, other support for you, DSPS, please send me um, the paperwork that for your accommodation letter as soon as you can. It's not retroactive, so if you send it to me after the midterm, I'm not going to extend the midterm, so make sure you take care of that. So netiquette, we'll get into that um, quite a bit, but the netiquette, the, basically the idea for you is to use respectful language to give me as much information as you possibly can. I have two Bakersfield classes and three classes somewhere else, so uh, I really need for you to identify yourself and put the um, the course number, which is at the top up here, 50177. So tell me that's who, where you're from, because um, you know if you have a first name like John or um, uh, Melinda or I'm trying to think of Melanie, something like that. There's a lot of people with the same first name, so make sure you're telling me who you are and do a sign off, you know, at the end. Okay? All right. So, netiquette, it's also about politeness, too. Make sure that you're being polite to your fellow students, to me. Um, if you're really being aggressive about your grade and you're frustrated about your grade and that's all I'm getting from you, um, then I'm not going to respond to those emails. I'm just going to send them the D. Okay, so I don't have that much of an issue as much as I used to because I think people are understanding how to conduct themselves online a lot better. But once in a while, um, that comes up, and I and I will let you know. So it's director of student life. Okay, not the dean. Sorry. Okay, so these are the points break down here. A thousand points for the course total, so you can kind of see your grades, and that's um, explaining right here. Now there's a bit of a roundup. So this says 900, but I, I five point margin is fine okay there's lots of extra credit if you're unhappy with your grade and what I mean is your assignment grade okay 
I can only go by each assignment. I get that email once once every semester. Somebody will say, well, I'm an A student. Well, you have to demonstrate that, okay? It's not something that because you were an A student before in another class, you're necessarily going to get an A in my class. Okay, I'm going to start back here and do a second video, but that's most of the hard stuff.